Hello everyone. Hi, hi your fans from all over the world. Welcome to Dajak's What is Hallyu? I'm Dajak, Hallyu missionary. Last time we started on the definition, appearance background, types, units, replication method of the memes. In today's lesson episode 42, we are going to talk about the replication and spread of memes and the characteristics of meme replication. First, the replication and spread of memes. In her book, The Meme Machine, Suzanne Blackmore hilariously describes how memes replicate and spread as follows. Memes are replicators, and if they can get themselves copied, they will. The imitating machinery of the brain is an excellent environment for copying tunes. So, if a tune is memorable enough to get lodged in your brain and then passed on again, then it will. In other words, you could be humming, humming that melody to yourself all day long because you have decided it's worth remembering. Have you ever experienced it? Like when you woke up in the morning, hummed a tune as you got ready for work and it didn't leave your mouth for the rest of the morning, even in, even in the office. That's exactly what's happening here. If it turns out to be just what some TV producer needs to start her latest soap opera, then it will get into even more brains. And every time you start humming, if there is a chance that someone else will hear you and you will set them off. Meanwhile, Plenty of other tunes are never heard again. The consequence of all this is that the successful ones increase in the main pool at the expense of the others. In other words, that melody has filled up the main pool so much that other melodies are struggling to keep up. We all get infected with them and they are stored in our in our memories ever ready to be activated and passed on to anyone who has not got them yet in other words the melody is stored in the brain on standby ready to be heard by someone else at any time this is how memes replicate and spread so, how do we measure the success of these replicated memes? If the meme is a scientific idea, the success of the meme depends on how much scientists embrace the idea, counting how many scientific journals and how many times the idea is mentioned. If the meme is a famous song tune, you can measure is a success by how many people sing along to the song. Record sales could be one way to measure it. If the meme is a style of a lady's shoes, you might be able to measure the success of that style of meme using shoe store sales statistics. Characteristics of meme replication what are the replication characteristics of successful and great memes? You are probably, probably wondering. There are three characteristics of meme replication. Fidelity, fecundity, and longevity. Fidelity. If molecules of type X and type Y last the same length of time and replicate at the same rate, but X makes a mistake 
an average every tenth replication, while you mix, while mix a mistake only every hundredth replication. Why will obviously become more numerous? After all, it's the difference in the number of errors. One error in 100 or one error in 10. By fidelity, we mean having as few errors as Y in the meme replication process. With fewer errors, the number of memes replicated continuously increases significantly, which is the same as longevity, which is the ability of a meme to survive for a long time. This is why fidelity is sometimes referred to as another way of saying longevity. Fecundity. If replicator molecules of type A make copies of themselves on average once a week, while those of type B make copies of themselves once an hour. It is not difficult to see that pretty soon type A molecules are going to be far outnumbered, even if they live much longer than B molecules. Sounds abuse, abuse right. It's the difference between replicating once a week and once an hour. The fecundity of meme repl replication refers to this speed of meme replication. When the replication rate is high, the number of memes produced increases significantly and dramatically, hence the term fecundity. Longevity. There are two things that humans pass on to their descendants, genes and memes. Genes and memes, it makes sense that genes are passed down, right? But memes are passed down? Hmm. First, genes. Genes have an influence with each passing generation, but genes don't get old, nor do they die. In other words, genes don't get old, they live forever. It's just that the collection of genes goes away. Old soldiers don't die, they just disappear. Do you remember this quote? It came at the end of General MacArthur's final farewell address to a joint session of the U.S. Senate and House of Representatives. As the hero of the Incheon landing operations was relieved by, of his duties by the 33rd President of the United States, Truman, genes don't die like veterans. They just fade away. The collection of genes just shrinks. For example, the Queen of England, Elizabeth II, is direct descendant of William, who was King of England over 1,000 years ago in the 11th century. But as you can see in the photo below, Queen Elizabeth looks nothing like her direct ancestor, King William. Why? It's not that King William's, William's genes died and didn't show up in Queen Elizabeth. It's that the collection of King William's genes disappeared, and that's why she doesn't have a picture of him. Memes are also lasting legacy that humans leave for their descendants. If you contribute to the world's culture, if you have a good idea, compose a tune, invent a sparking plug, write a poem, it may live on intact long after your genes have dissolved in the common pool. 
Socrates may or may not have a gene or two alive in the world today, as G. C. Williams has remarked. But who cares? The meme complexes, meme plexes of Socrates, Socrates, Leonardo da Vinci, Copernicus, and Ma. Marconi are still going strong. In other words, Socrates' genes are not existed, but his achievements meme is still enlightening our humanity. This is the most important characteristic of a successful meme, a great meme, longevity, the eternity of a meme. Speaking of longevity, I suddenly remember the interesting saying. To outlive those you hate is to win. It's said to have been said by JP, one of the three giants of modern Korean political history. Sidetrack, right? What is Hallyu? To talk about Hallyu seen in Dawkins' Mimetics. We are starting mimetics and memes in episode 141 and episode 42. In the next lesson, episode 43, we will talk about that the world looks like through memes and why nature meme is selfish. Thank you for your interest and look forward to episode 43. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for the next time. Bye-bye.